Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to register for classes on the UNC network. Um, what you want to do is just open up a web browser. I recommend Safari or Firefox. Um, I know Firefox for Windows is supported and Safari has worked fine for me. So um, just pull up any of those browsers and go to my.unc.edu. Um, it'll prompt you for your onion and password. Go ahead and put those in. Um, to save loading time, I went ahead and logged on. Uh, when you get to the home page here of my UNC, you'll see that they've linked your webmail, um, your student central, your blackboard, which usually has your grades and homework for classes, also your email. Um, what you want to do to register for classes is actually go to the Connect Carolina Student Center. So we'll go ahead and click on that. All right, so when you pull up the Connect Carolina Student Center, you'll see that um, it shows what classes I've already registered for, along with a few other items, uh, so, such as financial aid, uh, when you're actually allowed to um, register, and any uh, advisor meetings that you may have scheduled. Um, also, your personal information and email is also here. So what we're going to focus on here is the little window um, involving registering for classes. First thing you always have to do is search for a class. So when you're coming on, fresh start, haven't picked anything, um, you'll want to go go ahead and just start searching for classes you want to take. Um, for example, um, let's say that you're trying to register for, say, Kim. Um, you can say that it'll automatically pick up that Kim is chemistry. You can also hit select subject, uh, which will let you select from any of the um, usually four-digit um, abbreviations for the various different schools. So we're just going to go ahead and close that. So let's say you want to register for a chem class. Um, you can change whether you know the exact number. The number actually goes here. So let's say we want to register for chemistry 101. Um, so we'll return some results because I'm pretty sure all these are closed. We'll just uncheck that. But if you're um, registering ahead of time um, before class registration, I recommend checking show open classes only. That means it will only return to you classes that still have seats available and aren't closed. Um, for now, we're just going to uncheck it. Um, in this case, we'll search for something exactly 101. You can also see here that you can input additional search criteria such as uh, meeting time, day of the week. Um, honestly, when you're first registering, you're just really going to want to ignore that um, unless you're searching for a particular class during a particular time that you may have open in your schedule. Um, you're really just going to you know, work your schedule based on what's available, not necessarily what you want. So we're going to just say search for Kim 101. All right, so when you pull it up, these are all the Kim 101 classes we have. As you can see, it's a lecture class. It has three meetings a week. Um, it'll show you whether it's closed, open, or there's a wait list. Um, as I suspected, all the Kim 101 classes are closed. It's a pretty popular class. Um, however, let's say I want to register for the Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 to 850. I'll say select class. It'll give me the section here. All right. And then I'll say next. All right. Enrollment. Um, some honors classes you'll need permission. Um, this will show you the time and everything. What it'll do is it'll default wait list you. Um, and you'll go ahead and hit next. And it will add the classes into your shopping cart. It's in your shopping cart. So what does that mean? That means when you go to enroll now, you'll see that Kim 101, which I'm not in, which is closed, has been added to my shopping cart. So these are the these are the classes I'm currently registered for. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. So these are all the classes that I've registered for. All right, and what we're going to do here is any of the green ones or one that you're actually enrolled in. What you'll do is you'll see your shopping cart here, and it'll say to proceed to step two or three. You can only do this 
during your registration time. So you can come in any time before your registration and go ahead and put as many classes in your shopping cart. I would highly recommend going through already figuring out the times, looking at you know when your classes are, make sure it all fits in your schedule. Really just come up with your ideal schedule. Also a couple of alternates and have them all in your shopping cart so that during your registration time you can connect on here as soon as possible and connect, say proceed to step two or three. Okay, so it'll come up here. Um, what it'll do is any classes that are open, it will go ahead and in a green, it'll say finish enrolling, and it will go ahead and enroll you in any class with the green open button next to it. Um, that's why it's so important that you go ahead and plan it at your ideal schedule out, because if your ideal schedule is in your shopping cart, then you can just hit finish enrolling. If they're all green, it'll add you in the classes, and it's a done deal. Um, I'm, I don't need to enroll for any of these, so I'm going to cancel it. However, if you were if you were in here, it was your registration time, these were open, you would just say finish enrolling, and it would enroll you in all of them. And that's basically how the system works. Um, the idea behind um, the system is, like I said, to allow you to check availability of classes, um, particularly during registration time. Um, you just need to really constantly check your shopping cart up until um, your exact registration time because they do live update this. Um, as soon as classes are, become waitlisted or closed, you'll see a change in the icons over here. Um, you need to make sure that when you do log on, you know, at your registration time, that the classes that you want to register for are at least waitlisted or open. Um, if they're closed completely, find an alternative. It won't even let you add add yourself into the class if it's completely closed. Um, and that's how the new Connect Carolina system works. So when you're finished, um, register for all your classes. Go ahead and just click Sign Out. It'll tell you to log out several times here. Are you sure you want to sign out? Yes. And always, just as a standard safety practice, whenever you log out from anything from any website, don't close the browser immediately. Um, as they're saying here, visit another page to ensure that the, the entire logout process is completed and, and done. Once you're back here, you'll free to log out and close your browser.